so good evening everyone welcome back to my channel tonight we have a Toshiba Dynabook that uh, says on screen insert system disk in drive press any key when ready and this goes boot loop so there are two things that we can do for this situation um, the one is we need to correct some settings in the BIOS number two is involving uh, reformatting your drive so guys first step is setting up the BIOS and change some some settings maybe your CMOS battery is drained or you're not using your notebook or laptop for how many months and then it goes like this the first thing I'm gonna do guys is turn off the device wait for a couple seconds turn on again and press F2 rapidly sorry it's not turned on press F2 rapidly so we can land to the BIOS settings there the next thing we do is we go to security your laptop or notebook may, may not look like this but the settings that I will show you will be available in your model especially to Shiba Dynam books laptops or notebooks so we go to security and first of all we need to disable the secure boot secure boot now if we disable secure boot just hit enter and now the next thing we can do is go to advanced and we look for um, system configuration hit enter and we are looking for this boot mode so again find the settings in your laptop depending on your model and then we need to go to change this to CSM mode you can see that CSM mode or CSM boot after you change this you will press F9 I mean F10 to save and exit F10 and yes enter so if your laptop is just a BIOS setting problem you should boot fine after setting this up See, the laptop now boots through the windows successfully so that's the first thing we do and if that's successfully booting so that solves your problem but what if the operating is also corrupt or the operating system is not also working after doing that so the next step is we need to reformat the laptop guys we need a bootable usb device your operating system like this windows 10 and we will use the rofos application to make a bootable iso windows so this is how you make the bootable device i suggest you download rofos 1.4.6 for exact procedure that I'm going to show you 1.4.6 this is the um, UI so what we're going to do guys is leave it like this MBR partition sim for BIOS or UEFI computers don't uh, change anything except here you just need to locate your operating system your OS that you downloaded and and wait 
here for example we go to windows 10 and you can download it this in the internet just download the iso and for example this one you just need to click that and start after you start you just wait to load after that close everything and you have a bootable device i will not continue that because i already did my bootable device so let's go back to our laptop so after that guys insert your uh if bootable operating system to your laptop or netbook and power on your laptop we will just press f12 to boot to the shortcut to the removable devices f2 goes to the bio settings we can also go there to program which bootable device you want to boot first but the shortcut for bootable device is f12 we can press this one so we can quickly choose the device there so we can see that our bootable flash drive is available here usb memory so you just hit enter remember our settings press any key and it will go to the setup This laptop is working fine guys so I will not continue to reformat but, but I will show you what to click. Firstly you need to select your language and then select whatever you like there. I prefer not. Just hit next and install now. after that you will have the selection for your operating system choose your preferred operating system and click next just hit space or just click i accept and enter we go to custom installation windows advanced okay here we go guys so I advise you to delete all partition so you will have a clean installation but if if you have this one already then you will just need to click next until the windows finish installing so you can boot up so if you see some exclamation mark here that your bootable is not blah 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 compatible or whatever error then the partition or the disk that you are trying to install is in G gpt type so i prefer uh, deleting all partition if there's no important data and then proceed to next so after the next after finishing guys it will boot uh, normally i will not proceed to that because this is newly reformatted so let's try to normally boot this one That's not normal guys. We got to some problem but we we click this this one. No. We just want to boot the windows normally. That that shows because we just uh, shut down the windows earlier. Not uh, formally. So that one should be formal boot okay so here we go so after that you install that the screen will appear and then you go to your home home screen this stuff so thank you for watching guys don't forget to like subscribe till next video peace